Good morning, Derek Sanderson with EXP Realty coming at you from Chico, California. Every Monday morning we take a few minutes and go over what's happening here in Chico with single family residential homes. So without further ado, let's jump in. Okay, this week's update, October 16th, 2023. So as of about 1030 this morning, we have 121 active single family homes on the market here in Chico. 76 are under contract. Now for those 121 homes, our median list price is coming in at just under $560,000 dollars and our average days on market holding in the low 60s at 61 days on market now taking a step back and looking at what's gone on in the last seven days here in the chico area we had 26 new homes at the market and only 20 come off the market because they accepted a contract this is good news if this becomes a trend because that means more listings and more options for buyers and hopefully that means less competition and we only had eight price reductions in the last seven days, only 19 homes closed. In fact, I had a conversation with an escrow officer uh, just this morning and he said cancellations of contracts are up significantly in the last two months. So we'll have to keep an eye on that trend as well. Now taking even a further step back and look at the last 30 days. So we had 70 homes sell in the last 30 days. That is down just over 10% year over year so the same 30-day period in 2022 that average days on market holding steady at 36 days the median list price saw a little bit of a slip to almost three and a half percent and that median sales price coming in at 442.7 is a negligible slide from last year honestly 1.7 percent with these kinds of numbers, you might as well call it even. So that median sales price is holding pretty steady from the same time last year. Now, interest rates. So this data is taken from mortgagenewsdaily.com. And as of this morning, the average interest rate is 7.8%. Now, you can see here that in the last six days, we've had a lot of movement happening with these interest rates. We were up to 7.81 on October 6th, but here's the deal. What happened over that weekend is Hamas attacked Israel. It caused a lot of disturbances in the market because anytime there is conflict, uh, investors and people start to hedge their bets in a little bit safer areas. And we always see a slide in rates anytime there's a conflict like that going on however you can see that this morning it rebounded back up to almost that high off by only one basis point so it'll be interesting to see what happens especially depending on what happens in the middle east as well as our jobs numbers and inven uh, inventory inflation as those numbers come out for the next month and every Monday, I post a motivational quote. And this week, I posted this from Zig Ziglar. Remember that failure is an event, not a person. I have to constantly remind myself, and if you're anything like me, that little voice in the back of my head starts to say, you're a failure. You're a screw up. You did this and you are a failure because of it. I have to constantly remind myself that I personally am not a failure. I made an effort. I tried. What happened was maybe a failure, but I cannot find my identity in those events and those things that happen. I can only find my true identity in one place, and that is God alone. And so if I find my identity and have my identity in him, this quote is absolutely true. The events that happen are failures, but me, myself, I am not a failure. And so I want to encourage you this week. Would you speak over yourself? I am not a failure. Failure is an event. It is not who I am. Failure is something that happens. It is not my identity. That's all I've got for you this week. I hope you have a fantastic week, and I'll see you all again very, very soon.